Hey everybody, welcome back to Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. Today, we're gonna to be looking at ticker symbol GOEV, or GOEV. This is Canoe Inc. Um, I was not really sure what to expect with this one, uh, but let's, I just wanna show you their, um, their, their website. So they, they, they have these electric looking futuristic, I don't know if you want to call them futuristic. Uh, mini buses, delivery vehicles, short buses. Um, they signed with the USPS, NASA, and Walmart. Well, I don't know if they signed with NASA, but they have NASA here. 4,500 vehicles for Walmart. Uh, it's interesting. Um, that's all fine and dandy. Uh, however, this is the chart for Canoe. They have earnings tomorrow after the market close. Um, yeah, this this is uh, just a very interesting stock. And we'll get into it. I like to look at the bigger picture, as do I'm sure everyone else, and then drill down. It looks like it IPO'd around two, well, this is pre-split. I'm thinking they did a reverse, at least one reverse split. $230, it spiked up to $5.76, and it is now down to $4.28. It looks like momentum could be on the side of GoEV. You can see money flow has spiked this spike up right here. Relative momentum is still scraping the bottom. I don't, I can't, it's hard to tell if it's trying to turn back up. Uh, relative strength is 30, which is uh, scraping the all-time lows there. Now, this is what I want to caution about. They do 520000 in sales, and they're losing $353 million. Yeah. That, you're not going to survive. So what's going to happen? They're going to take money from shareholders, like retail. They're going to dilute the stock to get more money. They're going to raise more money. And as we can see here, they had, back in 2018, 1.6 million shares outstanding. Fast forward to 2022, that has 10x'd almost to 15 million shares outstanding. And right now we can see that there's 50 million shares outstanding. So from 15 million in 2022 to now 50 in 2023, what's it going to be in 2024? 150 million just to pull more cash out to breathe another day. This is insane. They're losing 41 million, I mean $41 per share. They did 2.5 million in sales back in 2020, three, four years ago. That's in, that's uh yeah. This is just a train wreck of a lot of financial data points. I'm just going to say that. Um, they pay $16,570,000 to make $52,000. That was back trailing 12 months. Um, just horrendous. Um, they have $12 million in cash. Total assets is $534 million. Total liabilities, $368 million. Total long-term debt, $105 million. Just not a good situation to be in. Um, this is a very speculative right now, in my opinion. A company that loses $353 million and bringing in $520,000. I don't want to be... A, a, not, I'm not a bear. I don't have a position. But I don't want to discourage people. But that's, that's rough. That's like impossible. So... Um, I believe the shares spiked quite a bit. I don't even know why. Alliance Global just trimmed the price target and the stock went up 48%. Like this is pretty, pretty, this is a stretch. So yeah, uh, I'm avoiding this one. I would suggest if you're playing this, play tight, play small. If you are, I mean, I'm not an advisor, but if you're just like trying to gamble, um, what are institutions doing? Great question. I'm glad you asked. Uh, it says institutions own 6.58% of the company. That's the older data. Newer data says 15%. <laughs> I 
a 9% increase. And we have Vanguard with 26 million shares. Tony Kila, 81 million shares. Didi Global, 23 million shares. Yatu Pin, 123 million shares. That's, I don't, does that even... And that's only nine, that's only 10%. So how many shares are out there? Ooh, cringe. And then, yeah, Vanguard. Yeah, so a lot of red, some greens, some red, some red, some green, some red, some green, some red, some green, some red, some red, some green. You get the picture. Uh, be careful with this one if you are in it. Uh, if you're one of those people who are gung ho and you believe in this company 100%, I'm not going to be the one to deter you. You have to do what makes you happy. So if you made it this far, best of luck. I, this one's probably going to go trending on Monday after the market close. Um, just be safe. Be safe. Whether you're long or short, just be careful. Um, anyway, I hope you have a great week. Thank you for watching. Bye. Consider subscribing. Consider.